This package right here, I have been waiting months for. So as we see, this is from Rikon, and this is our bed extension for our lathe. Right over here. It is gonna attach right here to give us an extension this way. Time to remove the styrofoam. And look at that. Finally, we have been waiting so long. There's our hardware. Let's get this out of the package here. Not very elaborate, but it is going to help us turn bigger bowls. Let's peel off this protective film. We got a protective coat of oil on there. We gotta get that off and then we'll wax it up with some paste wax. All right, nothing like some brand new metal. Let's grab the paste wax real quick. All right, let's install these bolts. Just very loosely to begin. Tighten these in a little bit. We're gonna take this wing, we're gonna set it on top of these bolts. Come down below, we're gonna tighten them up. Mostly hand tighten first, so you can't hand tighten anymore. We're going to grab our small level here and place it on. And then using these two Allen holes over here, we will make sure this thing stays level. Keep it level this way. It's using our level. It shouldn't take much. Tight. There we go. Now we have our wing. So now we can bring our tools over. We can slide them on. Now we can attack a bowl from this angle. We have plenty of movement here. Here's a closer look. So we have threads on this side and on this side. So we can actually bring our chuck over and mount it here. Nice little feature. Probably wouldn't leave this on here all the time. Might not have to take the spur off. I'm roughing up a smaller bowl. You leave the spur over here and then bring it, bring it over here and just leave this guy chucked up, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, the whole point of this is to gain a little bit more elevation and bowl uh, height. So as you can see, we gain about, probably about an inch, inch or two. Not too bad. So this is the, uh, Rikon 7150 VSR. I do like it that it is modular. We got the extension on this side. Now we got the extension on that side. We got a pretty hefty lathe going on here. Let's start turning some bigger rolls. Let's get a block mounted up here and see how it is turning on this side. Give a proper review for this extension to see if it's uh, if it's needed or not.
All right, I got a log chucked up here. As you can see, we got some pretty good clearance. It's not the biggest log we can do, but it could fit. Definitely have to flip the, the reverse switch when cutting on that side of the motor. So if we cut here, it'll be spinning the wrong way. So that's what's nice about this lathe. We can easily flip it into reverse, turn it over, wait for it to stop, turn it back on, and we can get to cutting. So far, for the price, I think this thing costs between $50, $60. Uh, it's a pretty nice addition to be able to get, I think I measured, I should be able to do at least a 15 inch bowl over here. I could do a 12 inch bowl on this side. So it's a pretty good in increase. Um, for the price of this moderately priced uh, Rikon lathe. And it seems to have the power to do it. Keep an eye out for some videos coming. We'll do some uh, bigger bowls. I'll try to find a 15 inch stock. This one's about 12. Maybe we'll take a green log down here and make a, a big bowl, a big 15 inch bowl or something, or a vase. We'll see what we can get going. I'll have a link down in the description for where I got this from Woodcraft. I think you can order it from a bunch of places. Haven't seen it on Amazon. Did take, I ordered it in April, just got it here uh, mid-June, um, so I think they were on back order. So if you're looking for it, might be able to get it now, but if not, just be patient, it'll eventually come in. Misspoke earlier about including the tailstock. This actually won't work here. So we'll need to um, not be able to use this here because it's down a few inches unless we have a boosted tailstock.